Good morning and welcome to uh, the Bluebells at Clincraven Woods. Uh, fantastic location. The Bluebells are out in force. Probably 100% coverage at the moment. Uh, I've done a camp here uh, last weekend. Fairly good, however, uh, it was only about 80%. So I got, a, I got a decent sunrise, so I can't really complain. And I'll put that image up at the end as well. This morning, there was rain throughout the night uh, and a little bit of uh, rain this, mo this morning itself. So it's probably put a lot of people off, uh, but these woods, amazing place. Using uh, the leading line going down the path, uh, snaking down, bluebells either side with the trees and I'm, I'm liking this here uh, composition. Uh, so hopefully using the polarizer is a, it's a 1.5 ND uh, filter as well and I've got a 0.3 uh, medium grad to balance down uh, the lights. There is, even though it is dull conditions, the difference between inside the forest and through the canopy of the trees, there is a bit of a difference. I may, I may even uh, crop it out, however, uh, if I get it done properly, uh, then I can leave it all as it is. So, the, the few people that I'm with, they started bimbling around uh, Conclaven Woods. It takes about half an hour, 45 minutes. However, if you've got the camera, you could be here for about an hour and a half to two hours. Amazing place. So I'm going to get a few more shots here and see uh, what I get on round uh, the trail of the, the bluebells. I'm going to do something uh, slightly different. Uh, it's, I don't do a lot of this type of photography. It's only whenever the, the bluebells come out, uh, then like everyone else, uh, I flock to the, the woods. I'm going to take a shot. No filter on there whatsoever. ISO 100, F14. And let's say an eighth of a, a second. The speed, the speed isn't making no difference uh, because there's, there's not a lot of movement there. Now I'm liking the, the water droplets on the, the grasses and the bluebells themselves. Hoping they do a bit, uh, something creative of this here shot. Looks a bit messy at the moment, but it'll be interesting to see uh, what happens now. It's a bit, a bit of an experiment. I'm going to put the polarizer on. Now normally that there cuts through the glare. Well, it will cut through the glare in any water. Let's see, I'll be interested just to see how this here affects uh, the shot. Going to try and be creative for once. Uh, normally it's straightforward composition, leading lines uh, today uh, with uh, the type of light we have. Definitely have to get a little bit creative. So going to walk on down uh, the path in a moment uh, and see what else I can get. Woodland photography, certainly not easy. Uh, far more work involved. Finding that composition, not easy. While I'm, while I'm walking about, I'm spending a few minutes at each location just to try and pinpoint uh, a good composition. Lenses that I brought today, 24 to 70 and a 70 to 200. Watching or looking around the woods just to see is anything, is anything really uh, popping out? Now the reason that I brought the, the 70 to 200 is more, obviously it's got the reach. You have to bear in mind that bluebells are protected. You can't run over them. Uh, it destroys the bulbs underneath. And then uh, if they don't grow again, that's it forever. So uh, you have to be very, very careful uh, whenever photographing uh, the bluebells. My glasses are steaming up. Bloody, it's bloody getting warm at the moment. 
and as I said I'm looking and looking and looking to see uh, different types of compositions. I may may have spotted one and it may be it may be time uh, to get the, the 70 to 200 out. We'll see if we can reach it uh, at 70 mil if not uh, then uh, the 70 to 200 will definitely be coming out. Now just in there, uh, it's, there's three trees. It's the furthest away tree that I'm going to concentrate on. Uh, I'll end up having to put uh, a medium, uh, a lee medium grad filter on there because as you can see, the sky's blown out. Yep, I'm I'm going to be getting close in there. Uh, as I said, if that 24 to 70 doesn't work, then definitely uh, it, it's going to be a case. Uh, the 70 to 200 is going to come out. I'm liking that. It's a shame about all the bracken uh, behind it. There's not a lot you can do about that there, but this has definitely got potential. Actually, like this year's shot, uh, it's not even, yeah, zoomed in to, to 70 mil. And what I'm going to be doing with this here shot is focus stacking. Uh, I don't want either the front or the back to be uh, soft. Get as sharp as possible. So this is the way that I do it. Focus, focus on the on the front part. Today it's pretty simple for there's no wind. If you were uh, focus stacking on a windy day and the ferns were moving. It's it's not going to it's not going to be uh, perfect today. Fairly fairly still, and then uh, each of the trees. I'm going to be focusing uh, on them points as well. Now, what I like about this here shot. is the, 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 the low overhanging branches. I think that there's framing the shot nicely. Uh, I've got a polarizer on just to, to dull that down a little bit. Uh, as I say, it's just not for the polarizer part itself, uh, for there's no, there's no light coming in, uh, but it's to tone it down, as I said before, uh, it's, as an ND filter, it's about a 1.5. Uh, it's, I'm actually actually liking that. May I may stick on a, a 0.3 medium grad just to just to see what it uh, turns out uh, like. But it's all it's all about balancing and making sure uh, that there's no harsh light coming in there. We we want we want it to be a, a balanced shot. So I'll stick that there uh, 0.3 medium grad on to see what I can get. Yeah, that there's making that's making a, a little bit of a, a difference. So I'll take this sequence of shots again, for it has made that little bit uh, of the blown out highlights disappear. It's great hearing all these birds. I'm certainly not a, a bird photographer, uh, but whenever you're out in the countryside, uh, it's beautiful to, to hear that. You get the odd person, uh, dog walkers, uh, just walking around here. Very, very peaceful old place to be. Uh, I'm really, really glad uh, that I came out this morning. It was, a, if it rained much heavier, uh, it's, it, it could have destroyed uh, the bluebells, but perfect, can't, can't beat it. So time to, to go on around the track. I'm not even halfway round here, as, so it'll be interesting to see what else I get uh, further down the path.
Well, that there's my, my bimble, uh, Ryan Killen Craven. Fantastic uh, bluebells. Happy with the, uh, the few shots that I've taken. Really, really nice walking around here. It's starting to get a lot, lot busier. So if you are coming here, make sure uh, you do get here uh, earlier in uh, the morning. Fantastic. Probably one of the best places in Scotland uh, to photograph the, the bluebells. But thank you very much for watching and hopefully uh, you've enjoyed this. Thank you.